Yaksimash, Borat's subsequent movie film, is the long-awaited sequel to the 2006 comedy masterpiece, Borat. Blah 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 long title. Once again, Sasha Baron Cohen is back as his best character, Borat, but this time around he is joined by Maria Bakalova as his daughter, Tuta. This time around, Borat is sent back to USNA to deliver a gift to Michael Pence, but when things don't go as planned, Borat and Tuta must switch gears and figure out something else or Borat will be executed. Now the original Borat is one of my favorite comedies of all time. It actually falls into the top five. I'm trying to make a list right now just on Letterboxd. You can check that out. But as I said, it falls into the top five. I think it is essentially a perfect movie. It may just be the funniest movie ever made. It just has me laughing out loud every single scene. Borat subsequent, Borat subsequent, Subsequ Borat subsequent, Borat subsequent movie film did not disappoint. It's not as good as the first one, in my opinion. It's not as funny, I don't think. But that is one of the best comedies of all time. It is almost impossible to pass it. I still really, really like this one. Sasha Baron Cohen is perfect here once again. Borat is such an absurd character and he normally says stuff that would not be said today, but it just goes for it and that's why this movie works. There will be plenty of people who watch this movie and don't find it funny because that's not their humor, but for me, this a lot of this is my humor and I feel really bad for you if you don't find this movie funny. A movie like this is considered controversial nowadays, but it really took balls for them to make this movie and this movie was shot all of this year. So it's quite impressive. Co-starring is Maria Bakalova, I hope I said that right, sorry if I didn't, and she is fantastic. She actually matches Sasha Baron Cohen and that is one of the highest praises I can give an actor or actress. There are so many scenes that are just fantastic and my favorite might be that baby scene that you've probably seen on Instagram or Twitter or somewhere. What's different about this film though is that it actually has more emotional scenes and I think they all worked really, really well. They're kind of sweet here, not gonna lie. One small issue I do have with this movie though is that it does feel a little held down because there was more of a plot. The first one just felt more free, not just with its comedy, but there are some scenes here where it does kind of stray away from that absurd comedy and in some scenes it works really well. Others, I was like, okay, we don't exactly need this. As I said, this one is hilarious. Some of these scenes you would not even believe are real and I looked at the cast list after and the only people who are listed are Sasha Baron Cohen, Maria Bakalova, and a bunch of the Kazakh people. Kazakh? I think that's right. And then like Michael Pence and like the not, uh, political people we'll say, but none of the people he interviews or meets along the way. So that's impressive. I really, really like this one and it may not age as well as the first just because a lot of this are 2020 politics. Now, the bit main point of the movie has to do with Michael Pence, McDonald Trump, and Rudy uh, Gal something, I forget his name already, whoops. There's some stuff with him here. But being alive now, even though I'm Canadian, it is kind of special to see and a lot of the stuff that they put out here it's interesting. Borat's subsequent movie film may not be as good as the first one, but the first one set the bar so high that it will never be passed. Sasha Baron Cohen and Maria Bakalova are equally great here, providing some of my favorite comedic scenes of the past few years, but it also does feature some heartfelt scenes. As I said, this one does feel a little bit more held down because of the plot, but if you liked or loved the first one, definitely check this one out. I'm gonna give Borat's subsequent movie film a B plus. Tomorrow I'll be reviewing Alfred Hitchcock's classic Psycho, I'm very excited to do that. And next week I will have videos on The Exorcist, the Halloween sequels, and hopefully on Trick or Treat from 2007, that depends on how much YouTube wants to copyright me. And if you've seen Borat, subsequent movie film, Borat 2 or Borat, and one of the three titles they put out, whatever you wanna call this one, tell me what you think of it in the comments down below. Also, what do you think of the original? As I said, it's one of my favorite comedies out there. And this movie does fall into my top 10 favorite of the year so far. That's very nice. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time, over and out.